Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to discuss general questions on the syllabus. We are going to discuss general types of questions and problems. We are going to discuss them in details. And I hope you to write the chemical equation in balanced chemical equation, writing the symbolic equation and physical state of reactants and the products. So let us start. General revision. My dear students, the first type of questions we are going to discuss today is choose the correct answer. The element in which its outer level have the electronic configuration 5F14, 6D6, 7S2 is from what transition series? Is it first, fourth, second inner lanthanides? If you think about the answer, my dear student, you will find that the element in which its outer levels have the electronic configuration 5F14, 6D6, 7S2 is from fourth transition series. Next point, substance which is used as oxidizing agent and as antiseptic. Is it chromium oxide, potassium bermanganate, manganese dioxide or vanadium pentoxide? If you think about the answer, you will find the answer it will be potassium bermanganate. Next point, substance which is used as fungicide is copper sulfate, manganese sulfate, vanadium pentoxide, A and B. Yes, if you think about it, you will find the answer it will be A and B. Next point, benzoic acid is prepared by the oxidation of toluene in presence of vanadium pentoxide, acidified potassium bermanganate, manganese dioxide, or chromic acid. If you think about it, my dear student, you will find the answer it will be vanadium pentoxide. Next point, on heating iron 3 oxide by carbon monoxide gas at temperature 230 degrees Celsius till 300 degrees Celsius, it is used to iron 2 oxide or iron or magnetic iron oxide or iron to carbonate. If you write the chemical equation, my dear student, you will find the answer it will be magnetic iron oxide. Next point, when magnetic iron oxide, Fe3O4, reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid, what are produced? Is it iron 2 sulfate and water, iron 3 sulfate and water, iron 2 sulfate and iron 3 sulfate and the hydrogen or iron 2 sulfate and iron 3 sulfate and water. If you think about it, my dear student, you will find the answer it will be iron 2 sulfate and iron 3 sulfate and water. Remember, my dear students, you have to write the chemical equation which is balanced writing the physical state of the reactants and the products. Next point, we can get Iron, 3 chloride, by what? Reacting dilute hydrochloric acid with iron, or passing chlorine gas over red hot iron, or passing hydrogen gas in iron 2 chloride solution, or passing hydrogen sulfide in iron 2 chloride solution. Yes, if you think about it, it will be passing chlorine gas over red hot iron. Next point, calcium gives what color in the dry test? Is it golden yellow, pale violet, brick red, or greenish blue? If you think about it, yes, it will be brick red color. Next point. When drops of caustic soda solution are added to aluminum chloride, what is formed? Is it white precipitate darkened in sunlight? or white precipitate dissolves in excess of caustic soda solution, or white precipitate dissolves in ammonia solution. 
if you write the chemical equation, you will find that the answer it will be white precipitate dissolves in excess of caustic soda solution. Next point, the chemical formula of the black ring compound is what? Is it CuSO4.NO, FeTwO3.NO, FeSO4.NO, or Fe2SO4.NO? Yes, the answer it will be FeSO4.NO. Next point, the solution which removes the color of acidified potassium permanganate is what? Is it sodium nitrite or sodium nitrate or iron 3 sulfate or sodium sulfate? Yes, my dear student, yes, it will be sodium nitrite. Next point, BVC, which is polyvinyl chloride, is produced from the polymerization of what? Tetrafluoroethene, vinyl chloride, propene, or ethene. Yes, my dear student, it will be vinyl chloride. Next point, we can measure the electric potential of electrodes by using what? Daniel cell, standard hydrogen electrode, standard silver electrode, or standard oxygen electrode. Yes, if you think about it, my dear student, you will find that we can measure the electric potential of electrodes by using a standard hydrogen electrode. Next point, glycine is considered from what kind of acid? Is it hydroxyl acid, aromatic acid, amino acid, or fatty acid? Yes, if you think about it, my dear student, Glycine is considered from the amino acid. Next point. Furnace that reduce iron ore by water gas is what? Is it blast furnace, matrix furnace, electric furnace, oxygen converter? Yes, the answer it will be matrix furnace. Next point. The chemical formula of ester obtained from reaction of acetic acid with methanol is what? Is it CH3COOC2HO5, CH3COOCH3, C6H5COOCH3, HCOOCH3? In order to solve this question, my dear student, you have to write the chemical equation between the acetic acid and the methanol, and then you will find the answer, it will be CH3COOCH3. Next point, all these chemical formula don't represent esters except what? CH3OCH2COCH3, C2H5COC2H5, CH3OC6H5, CH3COOC2. H5. Yes, the answer it will be CH3COOC2H5. Next point, iron 2 ion is characterized by its paramagnetic property due to what? Presence of 3D unburied electrons or 3D sublevel is filled by 10 electrons, 3D sublevel is empty. The presence of unburied electrons in 4S sublevel. Yes, if you think about it, yes, it will be the presence of 3D unburied electrons. Next point. Zinc 2 ion is colorless due to what? Presence of 3D buried electrons. 3D sublevel is filled by 8 electrons. 3D sublevel is empty. The presence of unburied electrons in 4S sublevel. Yes, if you think about it, yes, it will be the presence of 3D bird electrons. Next type of question is a problem. Here, two elements, A and B, form a galvanic cell. 
its EMF is 1.5 volt. Calculate the standard reduction potential of element A, given that A is more active than B, and the standard reduction potential of element B is 0.7 volt. So, if you think about it, my dear student, here, as element A is more active than element B, so the value of the standard oxidation potential of A is higher than that of B, which means that A acts as anode while B acts as cathode. So to calculate the EMF, we get the difference between the reduction potential of cathode B minus the reduction potential of anode A. So 1.5 equals 0 0.7 minus x, so x, which is the potential required, equal negative 0 0.8 volt. Next type of question, my dear student. How can you differentiate practically between ethanol and 2-methyl-2-butanol? The answer here, my dear student, is by adding acidified potassium permanganate solution to both of them. If the violet color of potassium permanganate disappears, it is ethanol. But if the violet color doesn't disappear, it is 2-methyl-2-butanol, as it is tertiary alcohol. Next type of question. Compare between mercury cell and lithium-ion battery. If you make a comparison between the fuel cell and lithium-ion battery, the anode in the fuel cell is zinc, while in lithium-ion battery it is lithium graphite. The cathode in the fuel cell is mercury oxide, and here lithium cobalt oxide in the lithium-ion battery. And the electrolyte in the fuel cell KOH, and here hexafluoro-lithium phosphide in the lithium-ion battery. Next type of question, examine the following reaction. H2 plus CO2 gives an equilibrium with H2O and CO and heat is absorbed, so it will be minus heat in the product. Here, what is the effect of the following changes or concentration of hydrogen gas? Adding carbon dioxide, adding water vapor, addition of catalyst, rise of temperature, and decrease of pressure. The solution here, we are going to discuss each point in detail. When adding carbon dioxide, my dear students, the reaction shifts in the forward direction according to Le Chatelier principle, so the concentration of hydrogen gas decreases. While on adding water, the reaction shifts in the backward direction according to Le Chatelier principle, so the concentration of hydrogen gas increases. Also, on adding catalyst, here, my dear student, it increases the rate of both of backward and forward direction by the same proportion, so it decreases only the time reaches the equilibrium, so it doesn't affect on the concentration of hydrogen gas. The next point that we are going to discuss in this reaction, the rise of temperature. As the reaction is endothermic, so the increase in temperature shifts the reaction in the forward direction. So the concentration of hydrogen gas decreases. Here, the decrease of pressure as the volume, which is the number of moles of reactants, equals the volume, which is the number of moles of product, so, the pressure has no effect on the equilibrium, which means it doesn't affect on the concentration of hydrogen gas. Next question, examine the following reaction. NO in equilibrium half N2 plus half O2 delta H is negative. SO3 in equilibrium with SO2 and half O2 and delta H is positive. In which do you expect, my dear student, if the temperature is increased leads to an increase in the extent of the composition or the increase in the equilibrium constant Kb of the reaction. You have to look at the two equations and be careful that 
the first one is exothermic and the second one is endothermic. So to make the temperature here is increased, here we find that. Here is the solution. In the reaction B, according to Le Chatelier principle, the reaction is endothermic, so the increase in temperature shifts the reaction in the forward direction, so the concentration of the product increases. So it leads to an increase in extent of decomposition and increase the equilibrium constant Kb of the reaction. Next type of question, my dear student. Explain how can you test for carbon and hydrogen in an organic compound and draw the apparatus used. Here, the solution here, you have to write the steps. So, procedure, heat the organic substance with copper oxide in a test tube, and then pass the resulting gases over an hydrous white copper sulfate, then through clear lime motor. As shown on the screen here, the organic substance is heated with black copper oxide, then the resulting gas passes over white anhydrous copper sulfate, and then through lime motor. Here is the observation in this experiment. The white color of anhydrous copper sulfate turns blue, which indicates that the presence of hydrogen in the organic compound. As the equation proceeds on the screen, 2H plus CuO by heating gives Cu plus H2O. And here, as lime water turns turbid due to formation of calcium carbonate, as the equation here proceeds, carbon plus 2CuO gives by heating 2Cu plus carbon dioxide gas that react with the lime water giving the white precipitate of calcium carbonate that turns it turbid. Here is the conclusion, the organic compounds contain mainly carbon and hydrogen. Next type of questions, write the IUBAC name for the following compound. Here as shown in the screen, this compound as the longest chain here is butyl, and has double bond in the carbon between. 2 and 3 between the carbon 2 and 3, so it will be 2 butene. And here we have two branches here, which is methyl radical on the carbon 2 and 3, so its name it will be 2, 3 by methyl 2 butene. Next one, as shown in the screen, it is cycloalkene compound, has two branches, so it will be 1 bromo, 2 chlorocyclopentane. Next one, here as the longest chain contain triple bond, my dear students. So the compound, it will be 4 bromo 1 hexane as the triple bond between the carbon number 1 and the carbon number 2. Next one, here my dear student, if you look at this compound and you are going to name it according to your back system, here the longest chain is pentane. Yes, and so, and we have three methyl in the chain, which is five carbon atoms. Here, my dear student, if you name this compound, you will find that the name, it will be 3,6-dimethyl octane, as the longest chain is eight carbon atom. Next one, here, the propane here has substitution in the number two of carbon, so it will be phenyl radical, so it will be named 2-phenyl propane. The next compound here, my dear student, it will also alkene, so its name it will be 2-bromo-1-butene. And here this compound have alkene and two chlorine elements in the substitution in carbon number two and three, so its name, it will be 2,3-dichloro-1-butene. Here, the next compound, my dear student, also it will be 2-bromo-3-methyl-1-butene. Next one, here, my dear student, it will be 2-bromo-3-chloro-1-butene. Here, my dear student, 
another compound here, it will be 3 ethyl 2 methyl 1 pentene. Here, another compound, my dear student, it will be 2 bromo 3 ethyl 2 pentene. Remember, my dear student, for alkene and the alkyne, the longest chain starting from the position of the double bond or triple bond whenever you see the compound. Next it compound here, yes, it will be 2,3-dimethyl-2-pentene. And here it will be 3,3-dimethyl-1-pentene. Next type of question, my dear student, is a problem. Calculate the solubility degree of bismuth sulfide if its solubility product Ksp is 1.7 times 10 power negative 10. Solution. As the equation of ionization here of bismuth sulfide gives two bismuth ions and three sulfide ions, so the concentration of bismuth is 2x and sulfide is 3x. So, substituting in the equation of Ksb equal 2x square times 3x power 3. So, 1.7 times 10 power negative 10 equal 108x power 5. So, the x equal the root 5 of 1.7 times 10 power negative 10 over 108. So, it will be for point 3, 5 times 10 power negative 3 molar. Here, my dear student, next type of question. Write your objection on the following nomenclature. 1 chloro for butene. First, you have to draw it, my dear student, and then you correct the name, so it will be here 4 chloro 1 butene as the numbering of the carbon chain starting from the nearest to the double bond. Next one, 2 acyl 1 propene. Here, my dear student, if you name it, you will find the longest chain will be changed. So its name, it will be 2 methyl 1 butene. Next one, my dear student, 2 methyl 4 butene. If you draw it, and then you are going to name it it will be 3 methyl 1 butene. Next type of questions, my dear students. Write the scientific expression for each of the following statement. The reaction of benzene with methyl chloride in the presence of catalyst, yes, the answer it will be friedel craft reaction. Or we can say friedel craft alkylation reaction. Next point, the minimum amount of energy that must be gained by molecule to react at collision. Yes, if you think about it, my dear student, yes, it will be activation energy. Next point, a type of alloys occurs when all the atoms of the alloy have the same diameter, the same chemical properties, and the crystalline structure. Yes, if you think about it, yes, it will be substitutional alloy. Next point, hydroxyl derivative of aliphatic hydrocarbon. Yes, if you think about it, my dear student, it will be alcohols. Next point, the reaction between organic acids with sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate, if you think about it, yes, the answer, it will be acidity test. Next type of question, my dear student, Write the structure formula for each of the following compounds. The product obtained by evaporating ammonium cyanate solution. Yes, it will be urea as shown on the screen, NH2CO, NH2. The compound produced from the reaction between benzene and the methyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride. Yes, as shown on the screen, it will be toluene as benzene attached to methyl group. The aromatic compound formed from the reaction of chlorine with nitrobenzene in the presence of catalyst. 
yes if you think about it yes it will be metachloromitobenzene next type of question my dear student explain how the following scientists contributed to the development of the science Kekel, Berzelius, Haber, Goldberg and Wag. Kekel here he discovered the hexagonal cyclic shape of benzene in which the single and double bonds between the carbon atoms are exchanged. Berzelius he classified the chemical compounds into organic and inorganic compounds. The first point, the second point he considered the vital force theory. Goldberg and Weg. He put the law of mass action, which states at constant temperature, the rate of chemical reaction is directly proportional to the product of multiplication of the reactant concentration. Each is raised to the power of the number of molecules or ions in the balanced chemical equation. The next type of question, my dear student, arrange the following organic compounds in ascending order according to their boiling point. Ethylene glycol, sorbitol, glycerol, ethanol. If you think about it, my dear student, you will find that ethanol less than ethylene glycol, less than glycerol, less than sorbitol as the number of hydroxyl group is going to be increased. Next type of question. Explain only by balanced chemical equation what happens in each of the following cases. Hydrolysis of acyl hydrogen sulfate. As the equation proceeds in the screen, acyl hydrogen sulfate on hydrolysis plus water, it will give ethanol and raise sulfuric acid again. Next point, the passage of chlorine gas on red hot iron. As the equation proceeds on the screen, 2Fe plus 3Cl2, it gives 2FeCl3. Next point, dissolving ammonium chloride in water. Here, when ammonium chloride is dissolved in water, it hydrolyzes into ammonium hydroxide and the hydrogen ion and the chloride ion. As the ammonium hydroxide is weak electrolyte, while hydrochloric acid is strong electrolyte. Next type of question, my dear student. What is the role of water gas in the matrix furnace? It causes reduction of hematite. As the screen show the equation of the reaction here, iron 3 oxide, when it reacts with the mixture of carbon monoxide and the hydrogen, which is a water gas, it is reduced into iron and releasing carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. Next type of question, my dear student. How can you differentiate practically between iron 2 sulfate and iron 3 sulfate? Here, if you make experiment and observation, if you put the salt solution plus sodium hydroxide solution, if white green precipitate is formed of iron 2 hydroxide, so it will be iron 2 sulfate. As the equation proceeds on the screen, sodium hydroxide plus iron 2 sulfate gives sodium sulfate and white green precipitate of iron 2 hydroxide. Remember, my dear students, all here the compounds are aqueous solution except iron 2 hydroxide will be solid precepted. But if reddish brown precepted of iron 3 hydroxide is formed, it is iron 3 sulfate. As the equation proceeds on the screen, iron 3 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium sulfate and iron 3 hydroxide. Also remember, my dear students, all the compounds here are aqueous solution except iron 3 hydroxide, which is solid. My dear students, I hope you understood all the questions and problems that we discussed today and we are going to discuss more of them in the next episode and so till we meet again, my best wishes for you.